Uh, we're talking about more than 30 million people who are eligible to vote in the United States. We're talking about a group that is in every part of the country and that traces its origins to many different parts of Latin America and even to Spain. And as a result, there's a diversity of view. Latinos have generally leaned towards the Democratic Party over the last uh, five decades of elections in the United States. But from time to time, we've seen a growing share and then a declining share of support Republican candidates at the presidential level. But also, where does some of that Republican support come from? And this is where I think some of the interesting and nuanced stories are. Where Latino men tend to be more, uh, more conservative in their views and tend to lean more towards the Republican Party, though still, Majorities, at least in recent elections, have supported Democratic candidates, just like Hispanic women. Um, and there's an interesting generational break as well. Third generation Latinos tend to be more conservative and more Republican leaning than, say, immigrant Latinos who are eligible to vote. And that's also a pattern that's been consistent for many years. One demographic that I think oftentimes gets overlooked in our conversations is about religion. And here, about 15% of Hispanic eligible voters or evangelical Christians. They tend to lean very heavily towards the Republican Party and issues like abortion are important to them in ways that is not the case for those who have no religious affiliation. But again, these are just some of the nuances uh, when one talks about the population that are true across the country, but also have some very specific stories in localities like South Texas or Nevada. Um, it can vary tremendously across the country.